Hello there, this is Carla. Welcome to another quick After Effects tutorial. So today I'm going to give you a quick tip on how to place yourself into a movie scene. Uh, so today we're going to be using The Godfather and I'm just going to stick myself behind Barzini here. I'm quickly going to show you how to do this. Now, um, I like to use Premiere Pro in conjunction with After Effects just because Premiere Pro is um, great. Obviously, it's an editing tool and this requires a lot of editing and finesse especially if the scene switches like this you need to get the um, timing right um, and the movement right so um, let's do this so I've got this scene here um, I want to stick myself next to Don Corleone there um, so I'm just going to um, cut the scene where I see fit so here's where the scene's going to be cut where I've just cut it there and as you can see if I go from frame this is what the bit we're going to be working with now I'm going to replace this um, with <coughs> excuse me an After Effects composition now it's going to wait for After Effects to load up and then we can uh, do what we need to do via After Effects uh, to this scene now it's better to do it this way guys because um, the film's already shot so you know, you're basically adding to it. So you don't, you want a you want a fluid sort of cut. You want to place yourself into the scene, but at the same time, you want to you want to make it fluid. So I'm just going to title this as cut. Click enter, and that will bring the scene in that I've just cut um, from Premiere Pro. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to Control D this um, layer. And I'm going to rename the top layer uh, Main Footage. And this is the back plate, so I'm going to rename this back plate footage. And then I'm going to bring in my green screen footage. Uh, this is me on a green screen looking like an absolute knob rock. Uh, I'm going to drop that on top for now. This was shot in 4K, hence the scale of it. But I'm just going to bring this down um, and basically bring it to the point where I'm in the scene. I'm just going to slide this across. Now I'm in the scene there, that's fine. And then I'm just going to get a pen to and just do a quick uh, dirty garbage mat uh, around myself. Just leave yourself quite a bit of space to move around. This bit here will shot wrong, so make sure you get yourself all in the shot um, if you can. Just done that wrong. And drawing that to that, and that's my garbage bag. Now, this sh sh uh, scene itself, obviously, what like I've just said was shot wrong because I'm missing the top of my head. So, wherever you're placing yourself in a scene, remember, always remember to um, get 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 the required body parts or your required self um, on the green screen. So, first of all, I'm going to rename this uh, green screen me, green screen. Just keep myself organized while I'm doing this. I'm going to key light this out, so I'm going to go to effects. I'm going to find my key in, key light 1.2, get my little dabber, uh, green, green screen myself out. And then, final result, I'm going to come down to screen map. I'm going to open up screen map, and then I'm just going to punch my uh, blacks up so they're all black, and bring my whites down so they're all white. That will give me a better finish. And then I'm going to go to final result. Now, for the time being, I am going to drop myself in the middle of my main footage um, and my back plate. And then I'm simply going to switch myself off for now. Um, and then I'm going to select my uh, main footage and do another garbage mat around this guy's head. Maybe get a bit of Don Corleone in there as well. Boom, like that. And then I'm just gonna switch myself on. And as you can see, I'm behind uh, Balzini now. And then it's a case of just basically tweaking up the shot um, as you see fit. Now, the oh, the, the bottom uh, really doesn't make, uh, make any difference because I am going to have some boulders on this. So um, if, if it's just like quick and dirty, uh, don't worry, uh, just, just get it the best way you can. Um, I'm just going to scale this up so we match the size um, of 
Marzini here. Um, I'm gonna get my main footage, and then what I'm gonna do, guys, is I am going to uh, hit F on the keyboard and feather Barzini out, and then it's a case of just tweaking Barzini, okay? Uh, to or the, 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 the part of the body, or the part of the person that is in the background. So I'm just gonna bring this out. Uh, just bring this area, very rough and dirty, like so. And then just put myself um, maybe over here a bit. And just basically uh, scaling myself up so I sort of match the size of Don Corleone's head. So I don't look like an idiot. Now maybe we can bring the feathering down just a touch. Just a touch. Like so. Now, when we go back to our Premiere Pro comp, it should automatically be updated in the comp. Uh, but this scene, just like that. Now, uh, I'm gonna go to uh, Crop in the Effects panel. I'm gonna drop my Crop on top. And this is just going to the Doctors. And I'm just gonna play around, maybe make that 10. And maybe make the bottom a 10 as well. And then it's a case of just jumping into After Effects and just moving ourselves um, into the position um, that's more favourable um, to make the scene look better. Then what we can do, and once that's done, is we can um, go to click on the scene. Sorry, jump back into After Effects. Uh, I'm going to click on my, uh, myself, shall I say, green screen come up to effects and then we're going to go to color correction curves and then just basically match the color of myself to the scene in the footage we're going to add a bit of red to that maybe bring the red down um, so our facial features sort of match the scene in question um, and then guys it is basically a case of just playing around um, with the actual footage itself playing around with the foreground uh, image, the masking. Now you can rotoscope this out if you want, it's entirely up to you. Uh, but this way, um, I like to be in full control um, of the scene. Um, so I can sort of play around with the masking. If you need more points, just go up to the masking tool and then just add points as you see fit to uh, make the masking process uh, a lot more neater. So that's basically it guys. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tip tutorial on how to add yourself to a film uh, in After Effects. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, a like rate it would be appreciated. And I will definitely catch you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.